in chapter five of my book, The Introvert's Edge, we, we talk about the fact that you have to have prepared stories. Now, if you have a customer demographic that is anyone that's wanting to work with you, the chances of having a story that resonates with every single one of those people is, is a lot harder. For instance, when in, in, in my last business, you know, we focused on people that needed business education that were in the trade demographic. So builders, plumbers, electricians. And when we started to sell to those people, all of our outgoing marketing activities focused on them. It didn't mean if we had a doctor or a lawyer reach out to us, we wouldn't try and sell to them. But all of our outgoing activities were to people on the trade side. What that meant is when I sat down with a plumber and I would ask them great questions like, what problems are you experiencing in their business? And they said, oh, we don't have any problems in our business. I would say, really? Because the last 30 plumbers that I've sat down with in the last month have told me they've got this problem, this problem, and this problem. Are you sure you don't have any of those? And they would respond, well, actually, no, I've got all of those problems, but I also have all of these as well. And the reason for that is now they're like, oh, this person gets me. And because of that, I feel confident confident sharing with them. If I hadn't spoken to a plumber in a month, I wouldn't have been able to say that. And then when I get to the part of telling them about stories, so I, you know, the sales process in the introvert's edge talks about asking great questions to give you the uh, ammunition to link those directly to a great story. And a story's job is to help a customer while seeming educational and motivational, also helping them see you as the only logical choice while embedding your credibility. So as you're telling this story, you're telling them a story of not the local lawyer that you worked with, but the last electrician that you worked with that had a similar problem that you got the same result. So the goal is that when you're focusing on that niche, your questions focus more specifically towards the problems that niche has, you are better able to talk about their problems if they're not as giving about them up front, and then your stories will 100% resonate to them. Now, if we look outside your niche, you're competing against people that don't have stories at all, so you're still going to have an advantage. And if you're meeting with somebody that is in a completely dem different demographic, you're probably still gonna have success because you've got these great powerful stories. But when you're speaking to that niche, wow, you're going to see the impact almost straight away where that person just drops all of their barriers. And instead of talking about if they're going to work with you, they start mid conversation saying, I'm absolutely going to work with you. Let's talk. They, they start interrupting you to start to move forward the process because they're excited. And that's really the benefit from niching because the customer just sees that it's just totally different in the conversation than they've had with anyone else that sat in the sales seat before you.